Konami presents. Aw yeah. Suck it in, baby. Yeah, I couldn't even be bothered to shut up over this opening sequence because my excitement cannot be contained. I am excite. Holy crap, guys. Are you guys ready for one of the best series that exists in the JRPG genre? I don't think y'all is ready for this. Those of you who have played any of these games know exactly what I'm talking about. This is going to be super fun time. I can tell you that right now. Anyways, this is just the opening little sequence. Basically like a trailer to the game. That's essentially what this is. There's not a whole lot of story going on here. So that's why I don't, I'm not too, I'm not too uh, disappointed in myself for talking over it. At any rate. Wow, I, I don't even know where to begin. I, was, I had so much I wanted to say right when I started this video, and I'm just like so excited to start this LP. You, you guys need to be prepared for probably, this will probably be my best LP to date. I'm just going to say that now because because I love this game so much, I have so much to say pretty much about everything in the game. So there's going to be something to say about everything we do in this game. And I'm going to do it thoroughly as all hell. We are not going to miss one thing. We're going to do every little thing we can do. I'm going to show you every little glitch, every little trick, every little exploit I can think of or know of. If you guys know any more that I don't happen to show and I skip over something, by all means, chime in and I'll try and show everything I possibly can. There's not a whole lot to this game in terms of side stuff, but you'll see. I don't want to blow my load here in the first episode, literally and figuratively, but let's push start, shall we? Let's get this shit cracking. Aw oh, yeah, start a new game. Listen to that, I'll say, listen to that triumphant, like, opening music. Ah, there it goes. It just had to reset real quick. All right, so what are we going to name our hero? Yes, we get to name our hero right off the bat. Luckily, I actually have this planned. We have the main character, and we're going to do it in all caps. There is a reason why I'm going to do this in all caps. And I'm not going to put a space in between Funky and G. But I'm going to be that Funky G, baby. Hell yeah. And this will be our first character in the game. Hell yeah. And you'll you'll notice on these loading screens, sometimes you'll see random little different characters and character NPCs in these loading screens. Most of the time you'll see main characters doing that little running thing in the loading. And we're going to have pretty fast loading times here on the PS2 because I'm playing, it, playing this on my PS2. I'm playing the original PS1 version, though. Anyways, let's talk to this guy since we're just kind of thrown into this world. Actually, we could just skip right over him if we wanted. Anyway, we're just controlling the main character here. Let's talk to this guy. Let's not waste too much time here. His name must be Tio, I guess. I guess I'm a little bit nervous. I guess we have an audience with the Emperor or something? Oh, that sounds interesting. I ain't scared of no Emperor. I ain't scared of no Emperor. Master Tio, Master Funky G. All caps. It's probably going to be weird to read it in text, all caps. But I wanted to do it in all caps for good reason, and I'll probably explain that reason in a later date. Just know that if you already know why I did that, you know why. Anyway, so my name is Funky G McDowell, and my dad's name, I guess, is Tio McDowell. All right, that's cool. Yeah, we here to say what up to that emperor. I like how we kick it off like we're hanging out with emperors and shit. We're not just some low, low-born little, low-class citizen living in a farm village on the outskirts of somewhere. No, we are in this. What up, dog? Uh huh. Impressive words. Do you not agree, Wendy? Who's Wendy? Wendy is the hot lady over there to the left. Hmm, those are some great words, General. Oh, by the way, his name's Emperor Barbarossa, if you couldn't read it. Uh-huh, I'm sure there's some stuff going on in the north, eh? Of course, Tio. He's down. They have a dispute with the United States of Jostown. I'll talk. be talking about Jostown later. By the way, it should be Jostown without an E, not Stone. That's a typo, just so you guys know. There's a lot of typos in this game. They rushed this game, I think, when they first released it. Hmm, so he named his sword Prack. That doesn't sound very interesting. Maybe Prack was the first person he ever killed. Some people like to name their weapons after the first thing or person they kill. That's actually kind of a classic thing. Alright, you have my blessings. Good luck, Tio. So Tio is going to go to the north. What am I going to do? Yeah, I'm Funky G. What up, dog? Hmm. I guess I could help if you want me to. Should I do it, guys? 
But I don't, I don't know. Do I, should I trust an emperor? Emperors are never, they're never good guys. They're always bad guys. I don't wanna. Ha, but thou must. You will follow a path of your own choosing, but for now you have a great deal to learn from me. Plenty of time for freedom later. Thank you for your kind words. Oh, I guess it didn't matter that I said no. For some reason I thought it was a but thou must situation where it would just make me say, okay, I'll help you. But I guess we're going to be working for Commander Craze if you guys read that last line. Oh, yeah. I thought she was going to ask me to meet me in her chambers later. That would have been nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we better be going. Oh, of course. Every son is better than their father in the end. Isn't that, isn't that always true? Mm, I guess that's not always true. But it's always true in JRPGs. All right, so apparently this dude's going to follow me around. Okay, I should say, I should say my dad's going to follow me around. First effect I want to point out is if you look at the floor when I'm walking around, you can see the reflection of the characters. That is fucking amazing. Now, I know it's not like the most greatest thing ever, but that's a pretty cool effect for an early gen, or an early PS1 RPG. So in this first episode, I'm probably going to be spending a lot of time talking to lots of NPCs just to see what they have to say. Apparently, she looks like Lady Claudia. Huh. Wendy looks like Lady Claudia, who apparently was probably Barbarossa's maybe ex-wife passed away who's this guy Kasim Hazil ah Tio it looks like you brought a fine son in this world he envies me you're embarrassing me Kasim huh so Kasim must be important is it my turn yet he is one of the five great generals keep note of that who are the other four well we might be coming across them sooner than you think so let's look around this castle a little bit more nothing over here let's go down this way see who's over here wait Quick conversation with Tio right quick. Craze. Let's talk to Craze, I guess. Before I talk to Craze, I'm going to come over here, though. See what these guys got to say. Say, you've grown to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm so grown up. I know. Oh, your boots are so shiny. Man, that's so impressive. You get all the ladies with shiny boots. All right, well, now we know where stuff is. Thanks for the pointing some stuff out. Ooh, look, shiny armor. And inside the shiny armor, what? What? We found 100 bits. Yeah. By the way, bits is money in this game, just so you know. And that one, that, that one doesn't have anything in it. And before I, oh, never mind. I thought I didn't have to talk to Craze until I could talk to everybody. Let's just talk to Craze, who looks a lot like, huh, who does he look like? He looks like, he looks like he's straight out of the Three Musketeers. Yeah, I'm Funky G, what of it, son? I don't take orders from the likes of you, douchebag McGee. Yeah, I introduced myself because I'm I'm the nice guy on this side of the thing. Wait, I got assigned to a weakling? You're telling me that they assigned the son of the great General T.O. to such a weakling? That, that just pisses me off. You know what? F these guys. I've had it with these guys already and I haven't even begun to do anything for them. And yeah, I'm not moving right now. T.O.'s kind of leading Funky out the city, or not out the city, but out the castle. Now we're in the actual city of Greg Minister, if you didn't catch that. And Tio's apparently taking us all the way home against my will. I don't want to go home yet. Welcome home, young master. Apparently this guy's name is Gremio. Okay. Were you nervous in front? Hell no, I ain't nervous. Confidant, son. You shouldn't worry so much, Gremio. Well, I worry, or he worries, because, well, you know... I should say this now. Gremio's character is very... It's, it's, I, I always thought his uh, his mindset is kind of questionable. I think he loves Funky a little bit too much. Now, it's one thing to want to protect somebody like Big Brother style, which is kind of their relationship. But come on, man. You'll see that his his overbearing just protect, overprotectiveness of Funky G is going to be a little ridiculous. You'll see. We've only just begun. Let's go ahead and talk to Gramio real quick and see what's up. He's a little busy making some stew. What should we do? Should we pull his ear? Should we tickle him? Or should we leave him alone? Let's pull on his ears. <laughs> Sound effects. Love him. Apparently he doesn't like being having his, ear, his ears pulled. How about we tickle him? Maybe he'll like that. Everybody likes to be tickled while they're cooking, don't they? Don't they? Oh, I guess not. Well, I guess we could just leave him alone. I don't know why I would even pick that option, but there is a third dialogue. I figured I'd show you all three of them. So who are these other people? Who's this guy sleeping in the bed? Wait, before we do that, let's read his diary while he's sleeping. 
We had breakfast. We had toast and eggs. Uh, sounds like a delicious feast. Why does all he write about what he eats? That's This guy must like to eat if that's all he writes about in his diary. Anyway, he's sleeping. What should we do? Should we wake, should we wake his ass up? Let's do it. I like how they use that little boing sound effect. Yeah, we woke your ass up. Uh, it was good. By the way, he's a silent protagonist, so you're not going to get any response out of the main character. Who's this person? Young master, how many times do I have to tell you? Please knock before entering the later room of the lady. Wait, you're a lady? Cleo is a lady. Okay, you look at that picture of that person, and you tell me does that actually look like a girl. I swear, every time I play this game, I, I have a hard time believing that this is a chick, other than they keep saying that it is. I guess her, her sprite in battle is a little bit different. Anyway, let's read her diary. Cleo's diary. Hell yeah. Oh. Well, we'll look at it later then. Maybe when she's not around. Okay, one thing I should note is the story wants me to go upstairs. If you go upstairs, you will trigger trigger a, a scene. or well, not really a scene, but you'll trigger something that I don't want to trigger yet. I'm just going to go ahead and say this now. You're actually going to meet up with uh, Funky G or Tear. I should say that too. The main character's real name is Tear, so I might refer to him as Tear sometimes. Tear McDowell, to be exact. If you go upstairs, you'll meet up with his friend, and I'm going to do something that's kind of an exploit here in the beginning of the game. So before I go talk, and what you want to do if you want to do it the same way as me is you want to not go talk to Ted, and his friend's name is Ted, if you didn't know already. But anyways, we're going to just explore the town in this episode. We're not going to do anything else. So let's see, we got, this is T.O., so who's this lady? All right, let's talk to T.O. first. Um, oh, so this must be Sonia. Well, um, what's up, Sonia? How's it going? After tomorrow, you won't be able to see your father for a while? Well, why not? Nah, he's going to the north. I already know. I never take anything seriously, sir. Can I have some of your food? It's warm. Let's read her diary. Might as well. Hmm. He's going north. Since it's so that my heart is bleeding? What? Hmm. Alright, I'll let you two have one of those last night on Earth type of nights. You guys, you guys have fun. I'm gonna go explore the town a little bit more. Let's see, is there any other buildings up here? The reason why I want to explore this town right now is because we won't be coming back here. Well, I mean, we're going to be sending the first few episodes here in this town, don't get me wrong. But after the first few episodes, we won't be coming back here probably until the very end of the game. In fact, we won't be coming back here until the very end of the game. I don't even know why I said probably. This is the rune shop, by the way. Can't really do much there if you don't have any runes. This guy talks about runes if you ask him. He says you can attach them to people to give you magical power. We'll get into runes when we actually get some runes. Item shop. This is the armory to be specific. What you want to do in this game is you want to go to every item in armor shop whether you buy something right away or not because it'll, it'll, I'll just say that, I should just say you want to do it. I'll explain why later. How about that? Just make sure you at least check every shop. Wait, what did he say? I wouldn't shop here if I were you. You'll get cheated. Oh, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't read that first line he said. Talking shit. What is he? Just like the local douchebag? I'm from a village to the east called Rockland. I seem to have lost my way. Oh, where does Millich live? Um, mm hmm. The ugly, unique house. Is it? We'll have to check that house out ourselves. Mm hmm. Yeah, this place is pretty nice. Another reason why, I want, why we're probably going to spend the whole episode exploring this town is because it's one of the biggest cities in the entire town. It's not huge, but it's literally one of the biggest cities, if not probably the biggest city in the whole game. In fact, I would safely say that this is the biggest city in the whole game. It really is. Alright, so let's check out what's in this house. Hmm, there's an old dude in here. What's up, old dude? Do you know what rune crystals are? Uh, well, I just talked about them a minute ago, so a little bit about them. There's some stew. That's cool. Uh, by the way, this house is completely empty. You don't even bother going in there. It's a freaking huge-ass house with nothing going on. Very weird. I don't even know how to explain it. Oh, and then there's this house, full of wardrobes. Now, we can actually check inside each one of these things. Green suspenders, rainbow-colored pantaloons, orange tights. All of this sounds very fruity. Hemmed red cape. Lame, <laughs> lame tuxedo. Uh, big feathered hat. It's not like we got an actor in this house. A floral shirt. Ooh, pretty. Leopard pattern K. Pink boots. No thanks. Who do I think I am? Checkered beret. 
fruit printed tile. Find for cape with sap. You know, to be honest, I've never actually checked every single one of these before. I've, I didn't realize every single one of them had something different. That's actually kind of interesting. Ugh, negligee. A, hopefully a woman lives here if they have all this weird stuff. Striped slacks, but there's stuff that's like for a dude. See-through bodysuit? What the hell? There better be a man and a woman living here then. Khaki riding pants with golden butterfly embroidery. Okay. Okay. Elegant party dress with peacock feathers. Well, if this party dress is and there's armor... And riding pants. What is Master Millage up to? If he doesn't hurry, he'll miss his... What? It's a guy? A guy wearing dresses and pink boots? Come on, man. By the way, this is him. It's Millage Oppenheimer. Hmm, this outfit is nice, of course, but the colors are on this one match better. What do you like? Um, yeah, I'm Funky G. I don't know anything about your fruity-ass clothes, and I don't want to know. Simple as that. What else can we do around here? What's up, soldier? Hmm, excellent, excellent blacksmith in Lenin camp. Maybe I should go have my sword sharpened. Indeed, I will. Then again, I don't really use a sword. I use a staff. I miss those days. Okay. In fact, they don't really call it a staff in this game. I believe they call it a bow. Just like Donatello's weapon in Ninja Turtles. They call that a bow as well. But I've always called it a staff. So I'm probably going to be re referring to it as a staff. By the way, this is the appraisal shop where you can get your question mark items appraised. We will be doing that many times in this game. I will show it to you when I have the chance. This guy kind of gives you a hint at how it works. He found an urn, he didn't think it was worth anything, then he had it appraised, and boom! He's a rich man. And actually, this is the last building in town. We have the inn. Let's see what people are doing up in here. We got the dining area. Oh, you've come at the perfect time. You can decide... Oh. Which one is the most of the powerful six, I mean five, Great Imperial Generals? What does he mean, 605? Huh. Sonia Shulin. She's the commander of the Imperial Navy. So, she's a magical swordsman, and she's pretty awesome. So that's one of the five generals. We know Kasim Hazil is another one. Speaking of Kasim Hazil, here he is. Of course he's the greatest general. And who's the other one? Quanda Rossman. Okay, so that's three. He defended Emperor Barbarossa's countless times. And when we have General Millich, that's the dude, the manly, I mean, womanly man we met a few minutes ago in that house with all the weird clothes. What's up, innkeeper? Why do you get a face? You're just the innkeeper. Keep note of that girl's face, or lady's face. Anyway, we can stay at the inn now if we wanted to. But one thing you should note about inns, it's the only place in the game you can save it if it's not an actual save point. You can't even save out in the open world. You can only save it at inns and save points. I'll show you a save point when we find one. I don't think there's one here in this town, but we'll be seeing one eventually. Capital, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, screw you, buddy. People talk shit on my capital. I should kick their asses. I run this bitch. I run this bitch. Five generals go do their thing, and I run this place. You know how I do. Oh, I love what this guy says. <laughs> He tries to be friends. Let's go on an adventure together. Oh, and now that we're friends, can you pay my bill for me? Ah, you silly man. Fuck y'all. Alright, well I think that just about does it for the NPCs in this town. Actually, we can go back to the castle and talk to a few more. I don't think anybody has anything interesting to say. You'd think there'd be more treasures in this big-ass city. But to be honest, the only one is that hundred bits we found in the armor inside the castle. It's kind of disappointing to have this big ass city and only one treasure, don't you think? Oh, there's another magician named Leknat. So Leknat and Wendy are sisters. Take note of that. What's with that dirty old craze staring at me with those nasty ass eyes? Hmm, and his fat assistant commander. Hmm, we haven't met him yet. Whoa, I've never noticed those before. They look like pigs. They're probably supposed to be horses, but they look like pigs. Maybe they are pigs. I don't know. I've never seen... Oh, wait, I know what they are. Never mind. I was about to say, I've never seen anyone ride anything in this game. Except a different animal that I'm not going to say. But I take that back. There is another animal that I recall some soldiers riding on later in the game. But we'll get to that when we get to that. 
And with that, I think I'm done exploring Greg Minister, and we can bring this first episode to a conclusion. If you weren't immediately captivated by the story, I understand. But trust me, once this game really starts, it sucks you right in. If you've never seen this game before, I would say stick around for maybe the first 5 to 10 episodes of my LP. And then after that, if you don't like it, then by all means you can just move on to whatever else you want to watch. As for next time, I'm going to be showing off a hidden item that you can only get at this exact point in the game. And I will also be showing off an early money exploit so you can make all your fiscal dreams come true. So I'll see you guys then. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.